To some other news now, a Port of Spain High Court has ruled in favor of the LGBTQ community in its challenge against sections of the Sexual Offenses Act. Gay activist Jason Jones was challenging the state on the constitutionality of sections 13 and 16 of the act, which criminalize sexual relations between consenting adults of the same sex. Today, Justice Devendra Rampasa declared the sections unconstitutional. As Ian Wayson reports, supporters on both sides of the issue turned up outside the Hall of Justice to hear the verdict, but things got somewhat heated. An exchange of words between those on opposite sides. The anti-LBGTQ members were vociferous about their beliefs and were not shy to let them be known. The officers were on hand just in case things got physical. When word of the ruling reached downstairs, the LGBTQ community was in celebratory mood. And I think we must all come together now after this judgment and embrace each other in true love and respect and honor for each citizen. This is not about LGBT. This is about the rights and freedoms that are enshrined in our constitution. Kevin Darlington, who has spent time in jail for offenses under the buggery law, was happy for the ruling. I feel like um, I hurt right now because what's going on, I was in the next court with the drama, with the same thing. Right? And I'm um, to tell everybody that uh, you have to change that if they want the that if they want the change and all kind of thing. So thanks. It was clear that all were not happy with the ruling as they believed it would have negative effects. What they're trying to do, they're trying to turn Trinidad upside down to find that we have enough problem. They want to create more problems, right? They want to create more problems, right? The court was asked to determine if the state has the constitutional authority to criminalize sexual activity between same-sex adults. The court ruled that Section 13 or the buggery law and Section 16 or the serious indecency law were unconstitutional, thus granting the application for constitutional address. The court will then hear in three months whether Sections 13 and 16 will be struck down entirely. Ian Wilson, C News.